This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of NRU Secrets, I'm going to be answering that question. Can you tell whether your dog is sick or not by how their nose feels? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Today's video is taking place in my new office, as you guys can see behind me. It's actually my old animal shelter building, uh, part of my old veterinary practice. I'm just gonna give you a quick tour. We're gonna feature Pippi today in today's video and I'm gonna answer, be answering that question. Originally when I first came here, this actually was dirt floor below me. And this here, this is where he was thinking of seeing horses. I don't know if he actually saw any horses in it. Um, and then it became turned into a pet supply store soon after I purchased it. And then we turned it into uh, an animal shelter. I just want to show you guys the creek, which has started to really roar right now. So today's video in part has come from many a YouTuber who have asked me that very same question. You know, is it true or not, Doc? I feel my dog's nose. And based on that, can I assess whether they're sick or not? Um, secondly, this morning my son has, for whatever reason, he's had these repeated bouts of illness. He's grade 11, he's otherwise seemingly healthy in between, but he's been sick well over 10 times uh, throughout the school year. He's missed a pile of school. And so once again, I was in seeing the doctor uh, on emergency. And from what we can see, I mean, there isn't anything obviously conventionally going on with him. Um, but in part, you know, it had me sort of thinking about, you know, when's the time? Like, is it serious or not? You know, what are some, some of the signs and symptoms of your own dog being sick? And when should you be concerned or not? And one of the things that comes up all the time or often is, you know, feeling your dog's nose. So that big burning question, you know, can you tell if your dog is sick or not by how your dog's nose feels? So let's just check Pippi here out. Good girl. Her nose feels, how does it feel Pippi? Feels rather wet, cool, and for Pippi's pretty darn healthy. She has no signs of illness as you can see, but her nose could be dry. It could be, maybe even feel a little bit warm. She could be fine too. Sort of the old wives tale has been that, you know, if your dog's nose is wet, cool, he or she's healthy. If it's sort of warm, dry, he or she is sick. As far as that, you know, is there any merit to that? Well, perhaps if you've got a dog that is, you know, clinically dehydrated, then perhaps if they've got a fever, they might have a warm nose their nose may or may not be dry. Uh, when you think about it, your dog's nose itself, girl, <laughs> maybe, secretes a whole number of glands. There's glands just within the nose itself that are also secreting fluid, keeping it moist. But your dog could just lick his or her nose. So the thought has been it's, it's dry, warm, they're sick. There's no real correlation at all with that when they start looking at dogs that are sick versus dogs that are healthy much more sort of common sense stuff are things that you should be looking at. So first of all, you should be looking at, you know, just basic history. Is your dog active, alert, which Pippi is? Are they still eating? Are they still drinking? Is Pippi doing that? You bet she is. Uh, those are all sort of big, big indicators. If you're wondering whether or not your dog has a fever, then what you should be doing is either one, go see your veterinarian. Secondly, all you should have just a basic digital thermometer. I'm not gonna do it with Pippi right now. Just go ahead, you know, just get a, ideally you're looking at a rectal thermometer, you're lifting your dog's tail, you're gonna take his or her temperature. Just so you guys aren't alarmed, that was just a recreation. Pippi, as you can see, oh, Pippi, 
would probably be totally cool with it if I did take her temperature, but there's no need to because she's completely healthy. Um, so just go, go, go ahead and invest as a good quality digital thermometer. And it's really a good idea just to get comfortable with basically examining your dog at home or your cat at home. Like just knowing what is normal for your pet, knowing, knowing you know, what is their normal temperature, what is their normal pulse, what is their normal respiration. You know, so when, if they are sick in any way, you can be much more confident in, term, in terms of determining that and whether or not they need to see it in there. Really easy thing to do. So in summary, do you, do you use the nose thing to know whether they're sick or not? No, you don't. Generally, a dog with a wet, cool nose, generally healthy, but is an indicator of health or not? No, it's not. And when you guys are taking your dog's temperature, know that the normal temperature is 38.5 degrees Celsius, plus or minus a degree. And pretty typically it's sort of 38.5, you know, from 38 to 39. Or in Fahrenheit, you're looking at 101.5 degrees Fahrenheit, plus or minus a degree. But for the most part, most guys are right around that sort of 101.5 or 38.5. Um, but there is a real range. So that's the other big reason why you want to want to regularly examine your, your dog and know what normal is. They say it's just a good idea. I mean, just once a week, they wake up in the morning, it's kind of their resting body temperature. Take their temperature and see what it is. Because there's no way your veterinarian who's seeing your dog maybe once a year is going to know, you know, your dog comes in, he's all excited and nervous, they're doing their yearly exam. Not a real good gauge of what normal is. So, so another real reason why. One, you should be comfortably examining your dog. Two, you know, knowing how to take your dog's temperature. Three, knowing what nor the normal temperature is for your dog. So thanks again, you guys, for watching this edition of NR Secrets. What I want you to do now is first click up there to subscribe to my channel. And then go ahead, click that link directly in the box below. And when you do that, you sign up for my newsletter. I can then send you my free books and videos on how to heal your dogs at home with my top natural remedies.